everybody. Welcome back to Living 808. And today on Geeks and Gadgets, PJ and I have some special guests joining us. That's right, Francine. Today we have Samil Thapa from Oceanit, a local high-tech company here in Hawaii. And we have uh, Kayla Diniega, who is a senior from Waipahu High School. They're teaching teachers about technology and innovation, and especially coding. And they're doing it by utilizing these really cool cars that we have in front of us. So I was wondering if you guys can tell us a little bit more about that. So what we're doing is we're teaching uh, teachers, you know, all, all sorts of teachers, English teachers, history teachers, PE teachers, all about these cars. And they're loving it, having tons of fun doing it. So I think it's so great what you're doing, bringing coding to Hawaii. I know Oceanit is a high-tech local tech incubation company. Uh, so how did you initially get involved in, with Altino Cars? Yeah, so Oceanit, we do a lot of work uh, locally, nationally, and internationally. And so we have business partners in Korea. And talking with them, they've told us about this initiative that Korea has about teaching students in all of their classes as part of their standard, standard curriculum. And so we learned about these cars and that they're a great teaching tool for doing this. And we thought that this would be a great way to bring coding to Hawaii and spread coding technology here locally. So this is some really interesting stuff. Do you think you could give us a demonstration and explain how it works? Um, yeah, sure. So I connected the car to my phone, and there's an app that I could run it on. I could make it go forward, turn, backwards, Whoa. and it has these lights to show, like, the blinker lights or headlights and backlights. That's super awesome, Kayla. So I see we have a track here with some Korean words, and it's really big and elaborate. I'm kind of wondering what you use this track for. You mind elaborating a bit more on that? I can show you with the cars. So what it is, is it's going to detect the walls and avoid it. So it's called autonomous driving, in which it won't run into the walls. Wow, yeah, that's super cool. And so this is kind of the basics of all the coding that you would need to do, you know, driverless cars or control trains and planes. And it all starts with the basic ideas of coding. And so we have all of our students learn how to do this and actually code this autonomous driving mode. Wow, that's great. So about how long does it take for, um, you know, to get this up and running? Uh, it usually takes up to 20 to 25 minutes if you're a new person to program. But if you're used to coding, it should take you about 10 to 15 minutes. Wow. wow. Yeah, so it's really easy to do this coding. Um, in the time that we were doing to set it up, we just uh, pro programmed it to do this little living 808. Uh, and so you can oh, see it displaying those characters. Well, Samil, this is a really great thing that Oceanit has brought to Hawaii schools. It really is such a great program, and we really appreciate everything you're doing for our education system here with coding. Thanks. We've been having a really great response to it. And Kayla, I actually heard that you're not only a student, but you're also a teacher at some of these workshops. And you've been invited to Korea for a coding competition? Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so Korea actually invited us down to compete against them. And using these cars, there's going to be two other high school students as a team to compete against Korea. And we'll be representing Hawaii. We're holding a fundraiser at Halau Inana at Mo'ili Ili. Um, Kamehameha Schools is actually letting us do our workshop there, and it's on August 12th and 13th. So if you want to come, it's a day long of hardcore coding, which you'll learn how to do the autonomous drive as you saw before. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. So you're going to be cool. able to learn how to program that car during this workshop on August 12th and 13th? Okay. All right, guys, okay. we got to go out and support this girl here and all the other local people that are going out and doing this coding competition. So thank you guys so much for being here on Geeks and Gadgets. We really appreciate it. And good luck in the competition. Yeah, We're good luck. We're going to be cheering for you. For thank sure. You. All right, guys, make sure you check out our website for more information on that fundraiser. And we got a lot more coming up on Living in a Wait when we return. So please keep it here.